Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. We show you a lot of snakes biting because let's face it, it's pretty funny. But the fact is, is that the majority of snakes are super tame. So we're gonna show you our top five tamest snakes. You're watching Snake Bites. One of the most villainized snakes on our show certainly has to be the king rat snake. Me and Chewy have both went a bunch around with those guys and it hasn't always ended very well. But the truth is, as you can see with this albino, they can actually be really tame and they happen to be one of my favorite snakes that I work with. They're not on our top five tamest list today, but they still are really cool animals. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and get into that list. I had a really hard time coming up with only five animals to make this list because there's just so many snakes that I work with that are just so tame and make incredible pets, but I had to pick just five. And one animal that made that list at number five is the African house snake. I've been working with these guys for about 10 or 12 years and I have never been bit by them one time. I'm sure they can certainly still bite, but I have certainly never been bit by them. And what's really cool about these animals is they are a colubrid, but they'll lay up to 10 or 12 clutches per year. It's literally just like an egg producing machine. If you're looking for a really cool pet, this is a good option. At number four, I'm going with a Woma Python. Now the only reason that these guys didn't make it higher on the list is because they're an Australian Python and they're still a little bit hard to come by. They're really docile snakes, not to mention they're really curious animals, which makes them seem a little bit more intelligent. If these guys were more common, I think you'd see them in a pet shop all across the country. Hey guys, it's Cal's question of the week. After a long, hard day at work, I like to come home, kick back and relax, and I do so by having a cup of hot tea and watching hockey fights on YouTube. How about you, George? I love to play video games. My favorite is Call of Duty Black Ops. Text or video comment below. Let me know what you guys like to do to relax, kick back, and chill. At number three, it's gonna be ball pythons. And I know you guys are thinking, how can that not be number one? It's one of my favorite animals, and it certainly is. The only reason it didn't make the absolute top was because the babies can be a little nippy at times, usually when they're just young and they're just a feeding response. But you guys see, when I'm talking sometimes, they're striking at my hands. It's the only reason why I bumped them down to number three. In the number two slot, it's gonna be corn snakes. I tell you what, corn snakes really are the reason that the hobby grew like it did. About 15 years ago, the corn snake was the pet that everybody wanted. It was before the ball python craze and the boa craze and everything else like that. Corn snakes are super tame and I often recommend them as the first pet for any kid that wants to get into reptiles. But the fact is that even if you're an advanced collector, you can keep these guys because of all the incredible color morphs. Okay, and number one, is hognose snakes. I know some people are gonna say, but wait a second, don't they have some mild venom thing going on? Well, the fact is, is that some people do have a reaction to getting bit by these guys, only if the rear fangs get into them, but I've never had that reaction, and no one in my crew has even had that reaction. But the fact of the matter is, it's really difficult to get bit by these guys. The absolutely only time you're ever gonna get bit by these is when you're feeding the animal. And again, this isn't about the best pet, it's about the most tame. And I can honestly say, a hognose has never tried to bite me unless they thought I was food. So basically, wrapping things up is just the fact that snakes can be super tame as well as some can be mean, and we don't want to categorize the snakes only as bitey animals just for your entertainment. Like I said, there were a lot of snakes that really came to mind when I was trying to pick the top five. Stuff like boa constrictors, garter snakes, and even cow kings with their heavy feed response. But the fact is, is that there's so many snakes to choose from, I have to narrow it down. If you guys have a snake you think should be on that list, go ahead and comment down below. All right, Bryce, so I got a snake myth for you. So one of our viewers said, hold on a second. This is Crystal, ask him yourself. Hi, Brian. I've been told that king snakes are more apt to bite if you've handled other species of snakes before them. Well, there's no doubt that king snakes definitely eat snakes in the wild, so you would think that the scent would have something to do with it. So how do you think we should test this one out? Well, I think we should take Chewy, who's been handling snakes all day if he's been working, have him handle a king snake, then he can wash his hands, handle a snake again, and uh, see if there's any difference. I think that's a great idea, but I think we have to use a snake that's really apt to bite, and then use one that's not so apt to bite, just as a control group. What do you think? Sounds good. Scientific method. Me likey. Hey guys, I've been working with snakes all day and we're going to prove this myth. I do smell like snake. Poop. Everything. So, 
We'll handle a couple different snakes, and as you can see, no effect. Go down to this one. And, oh, ow effect. Ah, that was effective. Second part of the test, I will wash my hands thoroughly. Okay, let's go test it out. Ooh, I smell like fresh lilacs on a summer day. And I'm gonna hold this snake to see it if it had any effect. My hands are clean and they smell good. And look at you. You're still an oh, ah, Ow! Stupid. From my scientific explorations, I am under the opinion that this myth is not true. So what happened, Cal? All right, Briar, well, Chewie got bit by some snakes. He didn't get bit by other snakes. It didn't really seem to matter whether his hands smelled like snake or they were clean. So I really don't know where to go from here. Well, I tell you what, Crystal, I really thought this might happen because, you know, after all, cow kings have a heavy feeding response and they feed on all kinds of stuff, not just snakes. I think we might need to get some more testing on this one. What do you think, Cal? I agree. What are you gonna call it? I'm gonna lean towards fiction. Sorry, Crystal. That's okay, at least I got to see Chewie get bit. For this week's Comment of the Week on the Guy Kisses Gator in Chicago episode, the question was, how did this year's election turn out for you? And Lohia Guitar 91 said, Honestly, Cal, all the politicians are just being stupid and blind at this point. It's all about party lines. It's no longer about what politics is, compromise. Now politics in the U.S. only consists of which party is more of an a**hole altogether. Well, I tell you what, there is no doubt that something's wrong with our political system, and I agree with you 100%. Until next time, you guys keep sending me creative comments. I'm going to feature you on a future episode. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. You know we're extremely community driven here. So that means if you have any advice or comments for us, make sure to go to facebook.com slash snakebitestv. As a matter of fact, speaking of that page, we pick a community to shout out each and every week. And this week's winner is ballpythons.net. Great job, guys. And it's an awesome community. Until next time, this has been Snake Bites. Yeah. <laughs>